Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to prove the cosine theorem. This theorem is actually a generalization of the Pythagorean theorem. Whether you learn it by understanding the proof or just by memorizing it, make sure you learn it. All right, let's get started with the proof. Imagine we have a figure like this. Let's say point O is the center of the circle. We'll call angle B as alpha. An angle inscribed in a semicircle is always 90 degrees. Let the radius of the circle be R units. That makes EO equal to R as well. Let's call the length of OP as C. So the segment PD becomes R minus C. Let's label the segment PB as B. Now, what about the remaining length, AP? When you know the hypotenuse and the angle, you find the adjacent side by multiplying the hypotenuse by the cosine of that angle. So here, AP equals 2R times cosine alpha minus B. Up to this point, we haven't really done anything major. We've just named some small line segments. To move forward, I need to show you another theorem. Let's put this part aside for a moment. We'll come back to it. Now I've drawn another circle, and let's say we have three lines that all intersect at a single point. There is a beautiful relationship here. The product of the two segments on each line is equal to that of the others. This has a really elegant proof. First, to simplify things, let's remove the line GD. Then, connect points B to F and C to E. If I call the angle BFC as X, this is an exterior angle that sees the arc BC. So angle BEC, which sees the same arc, must also be X. Now if I call angle FBE as Y, this one sees the arc FE. So angle FCE must also be Y. That means the third angles are equal too, right? So the red triangle and the green triangle both have the same angles. That makes them similar triangles. In similar triangles, the sides opposite the same angles are in proportion. For example, in the red triangle, the side opposite angle X is AB. In the green triangle, the side opposite angle X is AC. Their ratio is equal to the ratio of the sides opposite angle Y in each triangle. When you do cross multiplication, you'll see that the products of the line segments are equal. All right, keep that in mind. Now let's bring back the earlier figure. Take a look at the blue and green lines. They also intersect at a single point. That means we can apply the theorem we just proved. The product of the two segments on one line equals the product on the other. If you now plug in the expressions we defined earlier and expand the parentheses, you'll end up with an equation like this. Now, our goal is to isolate C. We want to solve for C. And once you do that, what you're left with is this equation right here. Now, look at this red triangle. We're able to find the length of side C using the lengths of the other two sides and the angle between them. And this is exactly what the cosine theorem tells us. The development of this theorem, reaching this final form, is something nearly all of humanity contributed to over time. Every civilization played a part. And if the angle alpha happens to be 90 degrees, then cosine alpha becomes zero, and what you get is the Pythagorean theorem. Pretty cool, right? If there's anything that wasn't clear, feel free to let me know in the comments. We did go over quite a lot today. See you in the next lesson.